Let's talk about those interesting races before we get into the presidential race, obviously. I want to turn our sights to California. Adam Schiff and Steve Garvey won the most votes in California's primary, and they will be facing off in the general election in November. He's faced criticism for pouring millions of dollars in attack ads against Steve Garvey. Some have criticized him, saying that elevated a Republican instead of a Democrat. What do you make of that? Uh, that's how politics works. Um, what shift did, because in California, the top two finishers, regardless of party, move on to the November election, he wanted to face a Republican because in California, there is absolutely zero chance that a Republican is going to win a Senate race, particularly in a year when the presidential ticket is on the ballot. So he wanted a Republican in November. He did not want to run against Katie Porter, who is a very, uh, you know, capable member of the House. Uh, or Barbara Lee, an, another House member. And so what he did is he ran ads that said that Steve Garvey is a MAGA Republican and that's bad. And look, that is a perfectly legitimate thing for Adam Schiff to be advertising about. It happens to be true. It is going to be the central charge that he brings against uh, Garvey in the fall. And the fact that it reminded Republican voters that they like Garvey and enough of them turned out to make him the number two, uh, that's just how politics works. If Democrats really believe that some Republicans, though, are a threat to democracy, why elevate them? Do you think that diminishes that argument at all? No, because he wasn't saying that Garvey's a great guy. He was saying that Garvey's terrible. <laughs> and so the fact that he was running negative ads against Garvey, I think, is a perfectly legitimate thing to do. Had he been doing something else, which is, say, oh, you know, Steve Garvey is really a moderate and don't worry about him and he can be trusted. That would be pretty bad. But he didn't do that. He told what I believe to be the truth about Garvey. And he ran ads that he could be running tomorrow and the next day and all through November about how Garvey is a threat. So I really think it was legitimate. And the other thing I want to point out is that had Katie Porter, who uh, ran third in this race, had she won a slot in November, uh, had she come in second to Schiff, and it was Schiff against Porter, a Democrat on Democrat race, it would have ended up being ruinously expensive. And tens or hundreds of millions of dollars, because California is so big, would have been spent on a Senate race that Schiff is now going to win easily, and those resources can go elsewhere. 